to tell me the story. <clears throat> what happened and in, in, uh, in what sequence? So you were notified yesterday. Tell me what happened yesterday. Okay, I was notified yesterday that we were to have in July, Speak up. the eradication of the new landscape development along John Ringling Boulevard. Now that was a shock. Uh, I was originally explained by Mayor Krishner in a letter from him 25 years ago that we could develop that land and it would be on my dime and on my time. And so I, they were approving of you improving the property and the, and yes. the, and the appearance of yes. it, just like they now, approved that for gentleman, painting the sidewalk. That became somewhat a, a friend and acquaintance more, but a friend too, because he had integrity. I went to his funeral last month, and the mayor that is currently the mayor was there across the way from me. And it was a portion to his honor, no less, to go ahead and put that in. But that was... That landscape development was done for a variety of reasons, and all of them were positive. There was uh, an invasion of privacy that re required to be given some attention in regards to the uh, eradication of everything and the uh, bare land, having people come up and look over the wall. The wall used to be seven feet, now it's five feet because of the new grade. So everybody felt free to walk up that bare ground. So you just had people looking over the wall and then 16 to 26 people at a time. Really? Yes. So it was a little bit of an invasion of privacy to an 89 year old that's a little bit uh, elusive, doesn't really want that invasion of privacy and felt that that was encumbering her freedom in her own right. property and her own estate. So the contemplation of how to acquire some kind of reason to, to accomplish something that might be extremely beautiful and in uh, in keeping with what the city has done like the pink floribunda roses on the circle and the uh, consensus of opinion that they wanted to plant the foxtail palm rather than the royal palm uh, for years the president of the association here Jim Grace looked for the hope of royal palms all up and down in this new improvement uh, they have denied that and put, in fact, royal palms in, then took them out and then put back in foxtails. So rather than just leave in the royal palms that they put in, they put back in. Uh, the, the cost efficiency it was ludicrous, but we went with the harmony. And so we planted the foxtail palm and the pink floribunda rose and spared no expense to make it extremely beautiful for several reasons, not just because it would keep and encumber people from walking up to the wall uh, there was a grade there and that grade would had in the last rain we just had on Friday and portion two Saturday too would have washed that soft dirt onto the sidewalk and created uh, no sidewalk on John Ringling Boulevard right. usable uh, seeing that and forcing that we went ahead and took the time to put in the pallets of uh, uh, sod grass we didn't use anything but the best we used imperial st augustine uh more expensive but the best we didn't buy any downstream beer roses we bought the three gallon the best we bought the best trees we bought everything that you could acquire the very best to accomplish something that would be well pleasing to the general public and you've received a lot of appreciation and an endorsement from great the deal of uh, and gratitude visitors. and thanksgiving has come my way uh, awed at the effort uh, it, uh, very appreciative I haven't I, I, I haven't an opinion I have a personal opinion about this that if you were to take every single person on the planet earth and walk them this quarter of a mile along this stretch of, of Rosemary's estate on John Ringling Boulevard you would find a unanimous decision of uplifting edifying joy happiness and peace as the result you would never find a single soul on the planet who could feel contempt for what was done. It's absolutely breathtakingly marvelous in every way, exquisite. It was done with thought. It was done with concern for a universal appeal with a harmony to what the city projects have shown. Everything about this. It is a point of pride for this whole community. It is a signet ring of glory. 
to this uh, beautiful island paradise. And I, I feel that everyone has been able to find themselves getting out and enjoying it more. And I'm sorrowful to see that it's not given the appreciation and the enjoyment uh, by one individual who happens to be in charge of a landscape development. But what I've seen about that landscape development concerned me too. When I look down at Bird Key, and I know a lot of people living there, and all of them that I know, I don't know if the whole community feels this way, but all of them that I know was were loathing and abhorring what had happened in the landscape development there. 90% of it perished. It was not put in with the concern. I put in one tree with 24 bags of cow manure compost and fish emulsion and, and love and concern. And, and so that's the way this was done. And they will flourish and they will be beautiful. The but what I've in. noticed down at Bird Key was an abomination. Yeah, and it left people really cold. And you don't want to create the doubt and the fear and the suspicion. What you want to create is the grace of faith and love and trust. And, and when you do something, you do it right. So when I saw what the city did there and called that their landscape development on this particular individual project, I was abhorred. So they lost a lot of that project? 90% of that that they planted is failed. Really? And it's an, it, it looks horrible. So when they tell me that they have an intent to do similar here, I have a grave concern. Yeah. So maybe a portion of this was to set a possible criteria for a glorious community. There's only 200 people that live here, but there's 200 million people that have seen it on Facebook. And there's 20 million people every year that come to visit it. So we're a strange community. We only are 200, but when 20 million people come to visit us, it's because of our genuine beauty. And that's truly what South Florida is all about. So they, they just, uh, how did they, uh, did they come over and explain to you uh, yesterday or No, there Saturday? was no explanation. I got a certified letter. It, it, it said in it, their intent was to have everything there eradicated in sometime in July. Even though you have put the, forth the effort, the dimes and the time to make it the, the most physically attractive point on this whole uh, island and in this community. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that I, just great, I'm grateful anyway. you feel that way, but this is truth. I and feel you, you most people, people feel Plymouth that Harbor. way. I've, I've seen people from Plymouth Harbor come down here all the way. Longboat Key, all of our island, everybody has uh, embraced it with a great deal of joy. It's a sorrow that is uh, intended in this. And I feel that's spiteful because a person with eyes to see, ears to hear, heart to feel would know this is universally embraced with a great endearment to think that they're going to just rip it out again is very much uh, a travesty to us all in my opinion i agree i'm sorry this uh, you're having to go through this and uh, and i hope that we can get uh, this story and your situation into the uh hands and attention of, uh, of those who may care and may reconsider. Uh, the fellow Daniel, uh, who is the engineer in charge of this, uh, has he been empathetic with you uh, at all about what has taken place? I thought at one time they were even offered to become uh, supportive of the development of what you were doing here. There was some conversation that I heard of that was and I don't remember where I was when I heard that, but I was in a conversation where they were talking about they were being supportive of what you were doing, and I thought they were even going to contribute to it. I don't know of such a conversation. I'll be there. I uh, heard that at a different I'm very meeting. sorry that I couldn't have uh, harmony. Uh, there was initially explained to me the eradication of the quarter of a mile here the day they intended to do it was the following day. That was my first notification. And that was a shock to think that they were going to take out 25 years of developed joy. Uh, but I accepted that it is built on Department of Transportation land adjacent to the estate of Rosemary. 
done with the concept we all do. <coughs> Excuse me. It was very deep, sorrowful feelings about it. And I expressed uh, that I felt that he should feel a certain amount of shame for not having said something before that he intended to do this the following day. Yeah. It seems to me as the only private residence that was fully involved for a quarter of a century in making something extraordinarily lovely for the general public, to have that uh, eradicated and not have that intended to be told until the day it intended to be done was uh, deceptive. And I said that I felt that there should be shame in that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time.